I like to do is uh, <clears throat> show you guys how to uh, find the transformations of uh, a given function. So the first thing we need to do when we're looking at a function is, and especially know the transformations, is we need to know, first of all, what are the transformations going to do? What are our possible transformations? And then also, what is our parent graph? So um, the first thing that we can look at is the parent graph for this function is f of x equals the square root of x. All right, that's our most basic function. Then what happened is we added a one, subtracted a five. Here we're adding a seven and um, doing a negative, uh, negative, uh, negative a in front and a subtract six. So what we need to do is we need to look at well what are the transformations that happen. So you can look at this at any parent graph. You can say f of x equals a times f of x. Um, let's see, I'll just do uh, minus h plus k. So what I'm pretty much looking at is my a, if this is going to tell me, this is going to determine if it's going to be stretching or compressing, okay? My h is going to tell me if I'm going to be shifting left or shifting to the right, and my k is going to tell me if I'm going to be shifting up or shifting down. My A will also tell me if I'm going to reflect about my um, about the x-axis. So if I'm going to be reflecting up and down the x-axis. And there's actually another one. We're not going to. I'm not going to get into it today. But there's actually another um, value. You can maybe say B, and that's going to tell you if you're going to reflect about the um, y-axis at all. Actually, let's put it in there. So if I look at this first function, I have here my parent graph. So what do I have? I have my h is equal to um, a negative 1, and my k is equal to negative 5. So for this problem, I'm going to say that my graph, so if you guys remember, the, the original problem says h minus h, or x minus h. So if x minus h is equal to a positive, if, uh, well, let me think of it, put it like this. It's x minus the the positive value of h. So if I say x minus, let's say, a negative 1, that's the same thing. x minus a negative 1 is the same thing as x plus 1, correct? So therefore, I can say my value of h is going to be negative 1. So I can say h is equal to negative 1, and I can say k is equal to a negative 5. So when my h is equal to a negative 5, my graph will shift. And I'm going to say, so h is negative 1, k is negative 5. So for this graph, my graph will shift one unit to the left and five units down. Now, it's very common for a lot of students to always want to say, oh, it goes to the right. It goes to the right because it's positive because you're thinking, you know, to the right is positive. Just remember when we're dealing with this, um, when you're dealing with the inside of the function, it's actually you may go into the opposite direction. So if it's plus one, you're going to be um, shifting it one unit to the left. Over here, I'm actually going to rewrite this equation or this function. f of x equals a negative square root of x minus six plus seven. Therefore, I can say my h is equal to six, my k is equal to seven, and my a is equal to a negative one. Here my a was equal to 1, and that's not going to change anything. What's important about this is this tells me it's going to reflect about the x-axis. So I can say my graph will shift 6 units to the right to uh, determine what, how to do these two uh, transformations.